or several years after. Our focus as a private sector driven, non governmental organization is to keep advocating policies that will assist government in the area of housing. In Nigeria, for instance, in Nigeria, the last uh, project of the federal government, affordable housing, one bedroom for 7.2 million, is unacceptable to us. The business of the government is to create an enabling environment, formulate policies that will help the growth of the sector. I say that, I say that with authority, the APC government has failed in the area of providing affordable housing. So, our advice is that those who want to hold position in 2023, they should get more understanding on how to achieve this goal of affordable housing. It's not just going and write anything in your manifesto. Fake promises that are, not, that are not attainable. And that is one of the things we are focusing on. We want to reorientate them. We want to advise them. We want to engage them. We want to let them know how best to achieve this housing agenda. Housing is key. With housing, you can increase productivity. With housing, you can reduce the problem of banditry. I mean, security problem. Somebody who is able to get a one bedroom to live will be thinking, who is a carpenter or a bricklayer will be thinking of how to get a wife. And when they get a wife, they will not go into banditry. They will not, they want to be responsible. But when people are frustrated, no place to live, things are hard, they resort into all those criminal activities. So housing can be used as a tool to solve some of the problems that Nigeria is facing and programs that has been enacted by various governments to tackle this problem, effective implementation remains a persistent uh, dilemma. Our housing challenge in Nigeria presents itself in two primary forms. We have the issue of inadequate housing supply to meet the needs of a rapidly growing population, most significantly for people on low income and young people. Secondly, a large proportion of our existing stock are substandard housing which do not meet widely accepted standards of habitability. Uh, according to a study by PwC, about 75% of the 42 million housing units we have in Nigeria, so that's about 31.6 million of them, were substandard. So we have two problems of creating new homes, but the problem of actually addressing the substandard nature of a significant number of the units that we have. These challenges continue to deepen with increasing social and income inequalities in our society. At the extreme, many households are faced with the dilemma of survival between food and adequate shelter. Because I know that is going to impact negatively on mortgages. And I read a statistics uh, over the weekend that disturbed me a bit, which says that less than 10% of workers, both public and private, and less and more than 60,000 naira a month. I repeat that less than 10% of workers, both private and public, and more than 60,000 naira a month. That's a very disturbing statistics. And I think for us as legislators, I think that the onus is on us to create more enabling environment, increase the wages of workers, to give them uh, the opportunity and the ability to be first-time home buyers, uh, and order to be able to also earn, earn a decent living. And these are the kind of things that we want to ensure that the macroeconomy environment is there uh, to be able for them to be able to afford uh, housing.